Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome inside the Ashcroft Center here on the campus of Avanger University, where our Saturday twin bill continues. The Avanger Crusaders taking on the William Penn Statesman, the men's half of the doubleheader, uh, coming up momentarily after the Crusaders women's team uh, topped William Penn with a big 73 to 65 victory just a couple of moments ago. Just the second loss all year suffered by William Penn on the women's side. And a big win for Megan Lusinger's Crusaders, 73 to 65 of Andrew with the win in the women's game and the men's game here just moments from starting. I'm Andrew Buckbinder, Joe Mason helping us out, producing the broadcast uh, as always, doing a great job. And Philip Dowden, of course, the SID, uh, giving us all the information and making us sound as smart as possible uh, here on the broadcast as well here at Evangel. Well, moments away from the invocation and the anthem before the men's side of this matchup. Evangel coming in at 3 and 13. They are 2 and 2 in 2019. So uh, Steve Jenkins' Crusaders have been playing well of late, alternating wins and losses in their last four, going up against a tough William Penn team, ranked number two overall. They are 15 and 3 this year. Let's join courtside for the invocation and national anthem here at the Ashcroft Center. And a great job, as always, by the Avanger University Band with the national anthem here before the men's half of our doubleheader at the Ashcroft Center as the Crusaders take on the William Penn Statesman. Another tough task here on this afternoon, but uh, in the first game of our day, Evangel up to the challenge with the Crusaders beating William Penn in the women's game uh, by the final again of 73 to 65. Really the top games in that uh, contest, Mackenzie Farmer, her second straight 20-point performance, 20 points for Mackenzie in that game. Uh, Kylie Moore and Brianna Boats, uh, both with 15 points apiece. Boats with a double-double, 15 and 10. And Emma Lander, 8 and 9. Or uh, rather, Bailey Harmon, 8 and 9. Emma Lander ended up uh, with a uh, final line of six points and nine rebounds in that game, slowing down the tough center as well for William Penn and Vashti Log Borocha. Well, turning to the men's game here, the starting five for William Penn being announced at the Ashcroft Center. They'll be uh, trotting out to Juan Johnson, who wears number zero. He's a 6'2 guard out of Chicago. Abrian Edwards, who is first overall in Division One in total assists, second in seven uh, in assists per game at 7.6. He is uh, number one on the William Penn side, senior guard out of Austin, Texas. Marlon Alcindor is uh, a Queens, New York native. He's starting as well, 6'5", senior, number 11 for the Statesman. Number 23, Eddie Daly, coming off a 21-point game and a defeat in their last game back on Wednesday at Culver Stockton. They fell 93-92, but Daly with 21 points gets the start today. And Darius Wheeler, number 24 for William Penn, a senior from Jonesboro, Georgia, also starting. Now the Crusaders being introduced 
They're starting five today. Edriel Martinborough, number five, the freshman guard out of Grand Bahama Island. And uh, off to really a good start to his debut season here as a Crusader. Kate Kaufman, another freshman, the Mountain Grove, Missouri native, 11.2 points per game, 5.8 rebounds per game. The newcomer, Chris Stocks, transferring over from Three Rivers College. He has uh, an average through four games of 15 points per game. He has scored in double figures each time out early on in his Crusaders career. Clark Brewington. The junior from Pocahontas, Arkansas, 12 and a third points per game, a career best average for Clark. And Ike Egwu gets the start for Hall of Fame coach Steve Jenkins in his 37th season at the helm here at Evangel. Crusaders come in 3 and 13, 2 and 9 at conference play, though as we noted a moment ago, they have gone 2 and 2 since the calendar flipped to 2019, including a win two games ago up at Missouri Valley before coming home last Saturday and falling to Graceland 88 to 67 in their last game, uh, which was right here at home as well. Opening tip will be against Ike Egwu for Evangel. And Eddie Daly. Off board on the way of pin side. Edgar wins the tip. Martin Brook controls and we're underway with the Crusaders with the basketball. Martin Brook up top will work it over to Kaufman at the wing. Up top to Brewington. It's defended by Darius Wheeler. Quick catch and shoot by Kaufman from the left elbow. A little short. And Daly pulls down the board. Charging the other way, Avery and Edwards floats a high bank shot up over the block try by Edgru. And the Statesman strike first, two to nothing. Andrew Martinborough had a good game last Saturday against Graceland. Mark Brewington with the ball. He's guarded by Edwards. Into the far corner, Martinborough passed down to the baseline, bounced out to Stocks from Egwu. Stocks picks up his dribble, his pass try, knocked away. He gets it right back. Leaning jumper on the baseline. Stocks rattles it in. Oh, what a move by Chris Stocks against three statesmen who had him trapped, able to lean in between them and tie this game right away. Stocks had a terrific second half last Saturday against Graceland. As Daly pivots, banks it off the rim, can't get it to go, gets his own rebound, puts it up quickly, and a putback for Eddie Daly down low. Daly is 6'9, 210 pounds. He's from DeWitt, Michigan. Coming off a game in which he had 20 points and 17 rebounds. Martin Rowe far side, dribbles towards the baseline. Cut off quickly there by Marlon Alcindor defending. Stocks takes over, working against Alcindor. Bounce pass, Kaufman cutting down low and he's fouled on the layup try. Good back cut by Kaufman, a nice find by Stocks and free throws are coming for the Mountain Grove native. Kate Kaufman with a couple of free throws. And the first one perfect out of the right hand of the freshman guard. 11.2 points per game. Kaufman 5.8 rebounds per game. Can't hit the second free throw though as Daly pulls down the rebound. And the Statesman will bring it up. Daly on the wing. Up top to Wheeler. Right around Edwards. Guarded by Egwu. On the block, Daly into the corner. Quick pump fake with a baseline drive, defended by Brewington. Daly with the putback try on another attempt. Daly's able to get it to go. Couldn't get the first putback. Off the layup, missed by Tawan Johnson, but Daly got his own rebound. Little uh, tap back and got that to go. Six to three, Statesman in early lead. Here's a three from Martin Burrow off the back of the rim. Kaufman, though. Able to yank down the rebound, which he has done so well this year. Leads all freshmen in the conference in rebounding at 5.8 per game. Stocks to Martin Bro, bounce pass to Egg, on the baseline, defeated by Daly, doubled by Johnson. Martin Bro, a nice feed down to Kaufman, and he's heading back to the free throw line. They trapped Egwu, who was able to work it around to Martin Bro. And a quick bounce pass to Kaufman, who was streaking down from behind the arc. Got the ball right at the left elbow. Quick move to the hoop and back to the free throw line, but he misses the first one. Hoffman one for three early on in free throws. 
69%, almost 70% on the year. It's on the second try. Two points early on for Cade. Six to four, William Penn holding the advantage with just over 17 minutes to go here, just underway from the Ashcroft. Daly trying to work it to Edwards, instead goes to the left side. Al Cinder putting it on the floor, guarded well by Kaufman. It redirects over to Johnson, a quick three try, and he nails it. The first three-pointer of the day by Tawan Johnson. Johnson out of Chicago, averaging 11.3 points per game, and those are his first today. Here's an alley-oop try that ended up going in. Kaufman was trying to get it over to the cutting Egwu. He just kind of flung it up there. And Egwu pulled his hands back at the last minute to avoid an offensive goaltending, and it worked out. Gabe Kaufman up to five points early on, and he knocks that pass out of bounds, directing it through the baseline. Play a panel control here with 14 seconds on the shot clock. Off and up to five points and a board early on today. He was a little quiet against Graceland last week. As Johnson controls it on the baseline. Back out to Wheeler. Now Cinder with a pump fake. Works around Coffin who blocks him from behind with a call of foul. And Al Cinder will go to the free throw line. A Kaufman closed out. He wound up behind Al Cinder who had a good pump fake to get around him. But Cade trying to recover quickly. He was able to block the shot. But Committing the foul in the process. And the senior guard out of Queens, New York, Marlon Alcinder, hits his first free throw. Alcinder, one of the leading scorers on this team at 16.6 points per game for the Statesman. Very good three point shooter, almost at 50%. That's both of his free throws, where he's also very good, 82% on the year. Andrew Martin Bro back up to Brewington. Little feed to the elbow. Stocks has it. One bounce, driving down low. And they've got to call something on that. It'll be a traveling call against Stocks. Knocked into an Alcindor, I believe, who just kind of closed off that lane. It's either going to be a foul or a travel, and they went traveling on it. 11 to 7 statesman advantage. As Wheeler drives right, picks up the dribble. Quick jumper from Daly from the left elbow. And a soft touch by the big man. Daly out to a quick start, has six points. Hoffman trapped in the corner. His pass knocked out of bounds by Wheeler. Evangela hang on to it, 24 to shoot. 15-38 to play here in the first half and a 13-7 lead for William Penn. Mark Burrow guarded by Wheeler. Over to Brewington. Running off in a zone for the Statesman. Stocks dribbling through it towards the basket, up and under with the right hand. Chris Stocks just kind of worked his way into a seam in that zone and was able to get it around the tall Daly. Right back the other way, off the miss. Daly has the rebound. Martin Burrow steals it away. He's got Kaufman in a two on one. Kaufman with the left hand has it roll out, and Daly winds up with the board. Two on two back the other way. Open look from three for Alcindor. No good. Offensive board. Daly, and he puts it back in. 15 to 9, William Penn lead in the timeout called by Evangel. With Daly's size playing a, a factor early on, he's already up to eight points and six rebounds. Eddie Daly coming off the 21 and 17 game back on Wednesday. That was in a defeat at Culver Stockton for William Penn. They have lost two in a row. They're starting off 15 and one this year. And the Crusaders, well, they have a tough task at hand here to keep pace with a very good William Penn team that averages 93 points per game. On average, they outscore their opponents by 20.7 points per game. Banjo comes in averaging 70. Giving up 83, but uh, trying to decrease that margin today. 15 to 9, William Penn with the early advantage. Just under 15 to play. Stocks on the right wing, skips it over to Brewington on the left wing, right back to Stocks. Pump fake, dribbles down towards the hoop, defended by Daly. Kaufman winds up with the offensive board and he puts it in. Gabe 
Kaufman again crashing the glass has seven points early today. Boy, of Penn forcing a quick foul though as Tawan Johnson drove baseline and that'll be the third team foul out of Angel early on. Loaded out to Daly on the inbounds. Brewington giving him some room behind the arc. Quick pass down low. Alcindor with some contact able to roll it in around Kaufman. And Marlon Alcindor with two more points has four early on in this game. Stocks back up to Martin Grow, left side. Brewington across to Stocks. Take the pass. Now over to Brewington. Right back to Stocks. Quick three pointer on the way. A little short. Alcindor winds up with it. Here comes Wheeler on the near side, driving. Martin Burrow got back in a hurry. Open look, though, for Johnson from downtown. Too short, Martin Burrow flies up for the rebound. Martin Burrow racing back the other way. Bounce pass, Kaufman, pump fake, and he makes it in. They got Daly to go zipping by him with that good head fake. Kaufman with two more points, has nine early on for Evangel. 17-13, William Penn ahead. Crusaders doing a nice job hanging with these high scoring statesmen. Edwards up top to Wheeler. Right elbow, a little turnaround, baby hooked by Daly. He rips the rebound away from Stocks, passes out to a Johnson for a three point try. No good. Another offensive board, this time by Wheeler. And a little pull up by Edwards is good. How about a pull up three? Abrian Edwards knocking it down. He shoots at 47% from downtown this year. Hoffman on the elbow. Good shot down to Edward who jams it in. Great look by Kaufman. Edward with that baseline cut. Spinning try though by Edwards the other way. No good. Brewington's got the board. And Edward's going to be hit with a technical. As he and Avery and Edwards kind of got tangled up after that rebound. Edward got a little shove on him, and the officials will call a technical on Ike. What a dunk by Egwu a moment ago. He's starting today. He came off the bench last Saturday against Graceland to help get some size out there. Against a really big Graceland front court, and Egwu really provided a charge off the bench. Ten points, seven rebounds a week ago. Got on the board with his first points a moment ago, but called him the technical here. And Alcindor will shoot the free throw momentarily for William Penn after a quick pause. 12.42 to go here in the first half. Both teams kind of huddling up with the break. And a 20 to 15 lead for William Penn as the officials take a look at exactly what went on a moment ago behind uh, underneath the basket after that uh, missed try. Edwards and Egwu kind of getting tangled up together. Nine points early on for Kate Kaufman. He's out to a great start. Three out of five shooting, two rebounds and an assist. Kaufman was kept to just seven points last week against Graceland, but he's out to a quick beginning today. Chris Stocks had had a quiet first half last week, but then just took over the game in the second half and wound up with his first 20 point performance as a Crusader last Saturday. 21 points for Stocks a week ago and four early points uh, for the Poplar Bluff native in just his fifth game as a Crusader. He and Kaufman combining for 13 of Evangel's 15 points here in the first half. Egwu with that dunk has the other two. Now on the other side, Eddie Daly, a quick start, 8.7 rebounds for the big man down low for William Penn. Five points for Abrian Edwards, who, as we noted right before the game got going, second in uh, Division I play at 7.6 assists per game. And he leads all of D1 in total assists so far here in 2018-2019. Edwards with 137 assists. Checking everything out on that replay. Just make sure they got the call right when it comes to doling out technicals. Reviewing the extracurriculars between Egwu and Edwards. Interesting to get another look at it. It looked like they kind of both got a little shoving at each other. It appeared when it was going on that Egwu was
is the only one that came away with the technical, but we'll see if the officials change that to a double technical or not. As they continue to talk things over. And it looks like they're going to keep it as called, where the only technical will be on Egwu. So Alcindor will end up shooting that free throw that he lined up for about five minutes ago. 82% shooter from the line, and he hits it. Another one coming for Alcindor. Both free throws good. 22 to 15. Alcindor up to six points early on. And the Crusaders have Luke Call check in, the senior out of Mount Vernon. Call in for Stocks, an early break for Stocks as Kaufman deals it up to Call. Back to the right wing, Kaufman up top. Over to the near side, Brewington to the three, and he nails it. Quick release for Claude Brewington with his first points on the day. Crusaders right back within four. Wheeler working against Martin Bro. Jalan Johnson guarded by Call, drives right, tried for the dunk, but he's fouled on the play. Egwu coming over to help out. And it will be called on Call, trying to block it away from behind. A couple of free throws coming for Tawan Johnson. A quick first step to get around Luke that time. The Chicago native Johnson, 11.3 points per game and just over five rebounds per game as well. Able to get the first free throw to roll in. He shoots 66% from the free throw line. Now Pavel Antonov will come in for his first uh, action today for Evangel. Check in for Egwu. The second free throw good for Johnson. Six point advantage for the Statesman here with 12.06 to go in the first half. And a couple of subs on the William Penn side as well with Q Cager checking in. Number 20 along with number three, Ahmad Pinder. Martin Burrow, the freshman to Kaufman, the other freshman. Calls got it, far side. Working back up top to Martin Rowe, trying to get it to Brewington. It's picked off, though, right away by Cager, who drives with a left-handed finish around Martin Burrow. And the steal by Cager just into the game, his 31st steal this year. 26 to 18, State's been stretching it out with a little 4-0 run. Brewington, pump fake, works it down to Kaufman, near side to Martin Burrow, driving baseline up to Brewington. Call with a right wing three, off the back rim, right to Martin Burrow, though, on the rebound. Bounces to Kaufman, Brewington with a little pump fake on the near side, has his pass picked off, this time by Edwards. Edwards charging back the other way, leaves it back for Alcindor, who nails a three-pointer. Back-to-back steals for William Penn. Edwards has 26 of them now on the year. And the three by Alcindor was good. Nine points early on for Marlon Alcindor. Paul on the left wing over to Brewington on the far side. Martin Gross saving a little bit of a wide pass on the far sideline. Paul's got eight to shoot. Brewington up top, back to Call. Bounce pass inside. Kaufman, quick turnaround jumper, no good. Edwards pulls down the rebound and he'll bring it all the way back himself. A left handed try gets it to roll in off the glass. Up to a 12 point lead for William Penn. 8 0 run here after the Crusaders had cut it down to a four point game. 30 to 18, Statesman in front. Brewington up top to Call. Back to Brewington inside, right elbow jumper. Kaufman with that high arcing delivery nails it. Turnaround jumper for Cade Kaufman, who continues to have a great start. 11 points today, and he draws an offensive foul here. On against Cager with an illegal screen. Kaufman hit the deck and hits the ball back for Evangel. Stocks will check in. Martin Burrow will take a break. 10.07 to go and a 10 point difference. So the five Crusaders out there, Brewington inbounds it to Stocks. They've got Call, Kaufman, and Antonov down low, the native of Bulgaria. Did not see him last week, but right back in there today. 
Time for an interior pass from Stocks to Antonov and a scramble for the loose ball. We'll see if that's going to be a jump ball and it will go the statesman direction. And we've got a, a timeout here with 9.54 to go. Our media timeout. 30 to 20, it's William Penn midway through this first half on EvangelAthletics.com. You want to make a difference to impact your community and the world. So don't just sit there. Do something about it. Take the next step at Evangel University. Whether in the classroom or serving in the local community, you'll grow in your calling while learning how to make a positive impact. Visit evangel.edu to see what opportunities are waiting for you. At Evangel, we're more than a university. We're a family. Apply now and start the journey to your calling today. At the Assemblies of God Credit Union, we do things a little differently. Since 1951, we have been your home for banking, but we are so much more. Our faith is a driving force for all that we do. They give 10% of their earnings annually to humanitarian needs, to scholarships, to ministries. They treated us like we were family. I remember emailing our loan officer at like 10 o'clock at night and he responded within 15 minutes. Visit our website today to learn how membership changes the world. Nine fifty-four to go here in this uh, first half as Evangel takes on William Penn. Thirty to twenty difference up on the board. The Statesman with a ten-point advantage. They've got Q Cager bringing it up right around midcourt. Almost lost it as he got the play from his uh, pinch over there. Abraham Edwards dribbling left back to Cager. Cager looking for the entry feed, downloaded daily instead to Edwards, who drives it into the paint, lost the ball. It goes out of bounds, and uh, they're going to give it to Evangel on that play. Edwards had it slip out of his hands and couldn't get possession back. So the Crusaders take over. Chris Stocks brings it up. Over to the far side, Brewington right back to Stocks. Looking for Antonov, sliding by the post. Brewington, a wing three, high arcing just off the back rim, and the rebound brought down by Ahmad Pinder. Works it through Alcindor over to Cager, back to Alcindor, a long three-pointer is good. What a shot by Marlon Alcindor, who's up to 11 points here in the first half. Nine minutes to play, 33 to 20. Brewington, open look, he didn't take it, and he's fouled instead by Ahmad Pender, who was closing out in a hurry, the sophomore from Chicago. So a side out here for Evangel. Check it in during that timeout, Jacob Smith. Inbounds over to Stocks. They've got Call, Brewington, and Antonov out there. Stocks got it back off a deflection. His jumper, though, a little short. Pulled down by Pender. Alcindor, a pull-up jumper at the top of the key is good. That was well defended by Evangel, but Alcindor just floating above and able to hit that two-pointer. And a miscommunication. Stocks was cutting back towards the basket. Brewington threw it where he was, and then a turnover by Evangel with a 15-point deficit, 35-20. to 8.35 to go, first half of play. Q Cager bringing it up. Hopkinsville, Kentucky native, a freshman for the Statesman. Pender gets it at the top of the key. Three-pointer from the side. I'll send her a little short on that one. Stocks with the rebound. Hurries it back up towards the front court. Left his feet. Found Brewington on the far wing. Back to Stocks in the corner. Driving baseline into traffic. Right-handed attempt off the glass. Grazed the rim. And it's brought in by the Statesman as Tawan Johnson brings it back the other way. Leaves it back for Pender into the paint. Good feed, baseline cut, no good on the attempt though. A second try for Isaac Sanders, that's no good. Antonov battling down low, and he is fouled on the play, fighting for the rebound. Isaac Sanders from Lexington, Missouri on that try. 
Got his own rebound, but couldn't put it back in. And Brandon Williams will check in, number 20, for the first time today for Evangel with Brewington getting a break. So the five Crusaders out there, Brandon Williams, Chris Stocks, Jacob Smith, Luke Call, and Pavel Antonov down low. Stocks to Williams right at the free throw line, fouled by Tawan Johnson as Williams was trying to get a little uh, real estate down there. And the statesman will counter the Crusaders' size by bringing Eddie Daly right back in there, the 6'9 forward. Got off to such a good start to this game. 8.7 rebounds. Long pass out to Smith. Stocks drives baseline into traffic. Right-handed try off the rim. Offensive board by Williams. Right-handed put back, and it's good. Brandon Williams with an offensive rebound. He had his first two points right after checking in. Long three, Alcindor off the front rim, rolls out. Daly trying to fight for it, but he can't. And it's going to be Evangel basketball. Good job by Antonov fighting the, the size of Oleti Daly down low. That's going to be a fun matchup today. Antonov 6'7", 205. Daly 6'9", 210. Ball dribbled off the foot of Stocks. He goes diving after it, comes up with it, and gets a timeout called. We had 7.17 to go here in the first half, and Evangel trailing by 13. Well, so far, both sides are shooting the ball really pretty well. William Penn has been on fire, 13 out of 24 from the field. Three out of seven from downtown. Evangel, eight out of 19 from the field. They were at 50% a moment ago, but have missed a couple of shots in succession. Two out of six from three-point range for the Crusaders. William Penn out rebounding Evangel 15 to 8. Seven offensive rebounds for the Statesmen early on. A lot of those came really early on in the game with Betty Daly cleaning up a couple of his own misses on a couple back to back tries. 7 17 to go. Evangel with a side out. And Smith tosses it into Stocks. Egwu checking back in for Evangel. He's in for Antonov. Call a long three-pointer. Rolls off the side rim. Daly grabs it down. Antoine Johnson will bring it to the front court. Over to the near side. Bailey Decato thought about it. Johnson goes driving in. It's blocked away by Smith, but a foul call. Then he'll shoot two free throws. Shamar Bailey Decato, number five, checking in for William Penn a moment ago. And free throws coming for Johnson. Got five points early on today. Two for two already from the free throw line for Tawan. First free throw off the side of the rim, no good. Both sides in the penalty here through the remainder of this half. And the free throw is good on the second try for Johnson. Crusaders hurry it up, trying to beat the a statesman back as Smith looks for a little help. Williams to Stocks on the far side. Stocks faking the pass up to Call. Call over to Williams. Near corner, Egwu cutting Smith. He gets Cager in the air who tumbles over his back and a foul on the play. Jacob Smith with a good head fake able to get Cager flying over the top. Smith, the senior out of Winona, Missouri, came over from MSU West Plains, five and a third points per game through his 14 games so far this year. Free throws coming. And the first one for Smith in the one and one is good. So a second free throw coming here for Jacob Smith as Edriel Martinborough checks back in for Luke Call. 6.38 to play here in half number one, and Evangel trailing it by 13, 36 to 23. Second free throw for Smith is good as well. So two for two for Jacob Smith, 6.35 to go. And a 12-point deficit for Evangel, hanging in there though against these tough statesmen who come in at 15 and three. Here's a long three by Eddie Daly. 
Couldn't find anybody to pass to, so he just chucked it up instead as Martin Bro pushes the tempo. Williams with a dunk try, but he's blocked away by Daly. And the 6'9", Eddie Daly with his 15th block of the year. Crusaders will maintain a possession, though. Martin Bro inbounding from the baseline. 24 on the shot clock as he lobs it up to Stocks. Around a Williams screen, Stocks straight away. Near side, Martin Burrow dribbles to the left around Daly. He blocks it away again, though. Back-to-back -back blocks by Big Eddie Daly down low. Johnson scoops it to the far side, dribbling his Bailey Negato. Near side three for Alcindor is good. 16 first-half points for Marlon Alcindor, his second three of the day. Opens it up to a 15-point lead for William Penn. Stocks dribbles it back, setting up the offense, working around a screen by Williams. Pull-up jumper, Stocks nails it. Up to six points for Chris Stocks here in the half. Avery and Edwards with a left-handed try off the glass, and just like that, a quick counter by William Penn. 41-26, Stocks now looking to return the favor, and they'll call traveling on him as he's trying to work around Daly. A little bit out of control. Stocks wanting the foul call, but they get him on too many steps. Stock six points, two rebounds, three out of eight shooting. Goffman leading all Crusaders with 11 points here in the game. As Avery and Edwards dribbles it slowly up court. Over to Wheeler, turnaround three for him. Off front rim, knocking around, rebound knocked away by Bailey Decatil and then grabbed down by Williams. Andrew Martin Burrow brings it up for Evangel. Over to Smith at the left wing, working against Wheeler. Back up to Martin Burrow. Stocks on the far side. Over to the corner to Smith. Back towards Stocks. That's knocked away. And deflect out of bounds. 4.44 to go. William Penn will take over on the turnover by Evangel. Well defended by Wheeler. Got his fingertips on that pass. Darius Wheeler brings it up. He had 13 points, five rebounds. And that one point defeat up at Culver Stockton last week. Down low, Edwards backing into Agu. Back out to Wheeler for a three. And Darius hits the three pointer. And open it up to an 18 point lead. It is 44 26 in favor of William Penn. Zone for William Penn as Mark Burrow, one bounce, passes over to Stocks. Stocks driving left into traffic, backs it right back out to Mark Burrow, three point try, a little short. Daly with the defensive board, floats it over to Edwards to bring it up court. Far side, Bailey Dickens over the three, two long, offensive rebound for Wheeler. Now Sinner pushing off against Smith, worked it up to Wheeler, and They'll call a foul, I believe, on Jacob Smith. Trying to slow down Marlon Alcindor, cutting through the paint. Gage Kaufman will check back in for Evangel. And for Smith. Just off his hands, Kaufman almost picked off the pass, knocked it out of bounds, and there'll be 16 left to shoot here for William Penn. And a timeout call. So a break, 3.38 to go in the first half. With the statesman opening things up a little bit. Crusaders, after really opening it up, going 8 out of 16, they've hit just two of their last nine from the field. So, dip down to 40% from the field. 16 out of 31, though, for William Penn. They've been shooting above 50% from the field, really all game. 19 rebounds overall for the Statesman. Coming out of the timeout, 16 to shoot here for William Penn. 
338 to play. It's like Edward Kate Goffin, Clark Brewington, Chris Stocks, and Edrell Martin Burrell on the court for Evangel. Avery and Edwards driving into the paint, spin around, floating try, and he's able to get it over Martin Burrell for the score. And a 20-point game, 46-26. Burrow over to Stocks, back to Mark Burrow. The zone has been tough on Evangel here as Stocks puts up a quick three off the side of the rim, though, a little short, dealing with another rebound. Gets to Edwards to hurry it up. Finds Wheeler for a corner three off the front of the rim. Rebound fought for. Daly's got it and he puts it back in. 22 point lead, the largest of the game for William Penn. The offensive rebound by Daly. Brewington feeds it to Agru to the corner. Stocks double team quickly trapped in the corner. Needs some help and he'll call a timeout. Well, Evangel's had a tough time with his zone, and the two of nine from downtown has been a part of it. 22 percent currently from the three-point range in the Crusaders. Joe just deposited a check. Now he's moving money. Checking his spending and paying some bills. Because Joe has technology. And that, my friends, is why Joe is awesome. Technology, only at Central Bank. Domino's delivery drivers are experts at handling bad roads. But those roads shouldn't ruin your pizza when you carry out. So we're doing something about them, starting with this one. If your drive home is rough on pizza, tell us at pavingforpizza.com so we can fix roads across the country. Then carry out large three-topping pizzas for $7.99 each. Now, Kaufman will inbounds here for Evangel. 240 to play in the first half. 48-26, Crusaders down by 22. Looking to close out the half, though, with a little bit of a run to shave that down. Quick three by Brewington, a little short. Rebound controlled by Daly, pushing up to Avery and Edwards. Edwards into the paint, defended by Stocks. He hit the turf, hit the court, but uh, Edwards able to finish over him anyway. And it's a 24-point lead for William Penn. Brewington back to Martinboro. Edwards shaking his head. Martinboro bounces to Agru. Back to Martinboro, dribbles in towards the paint. Works it over to Kaufman, who flips it wildly back out to Stocks. Saved it on the sideline to Agru. He's got five to shoot, finds Kaufman down low. Quick little bank by Kaufman, and it's good. Up to 13 points for Cade Kaufman here in the first half. 50 to 28. Really nice job by Evangel finding something out of nothing on that possession and coming away with the two points. Here's a quick three point by Wheeler. Now uh, off the side rim though, brought down by Martin Bro. And Martin Bro with a minute and a half to go here in the half, feeds it to Brewington. Stocks a little bounce pass to Kaufman on the baseline and they'll call a blocking foul against Eddie Daly. With Kate Kaufman again so effective down low once he gets down to the paint. He's patient. We've seen a couple of times able to give a little head fake and get the six foot nine inch Eddie Daly to go zip it past him through the air, trying to block a shot that never occurs. And then Kaufman, a quick release after that. He's gone four of seven from the field and he's going to the free throw line for two more shots here. Two for four from the line today for Kaufman. And his first in the one and one is good. Kaufman is up to 14 points today. Second one rattles out, though. Grabbed down by Pender. And the Statesmen have it with a minute and 18 to go here in the first half. 
Stocks guarding Pender, rather Wheeler. Pender's got it now. Martin Bro looking to stay in front of him as he drives into the paint. It's slapped away, but a foul called. That'll go against Brewington on the reach in call. And it'll send Ahmad Pender, another native of Chicago, on this uh, William Penn team to the free throw line. Just one out of eight this year from the line. And the first one no good for Pender. So this is not necessarily the strong suit for the sophomore guard who transferred over to William Penn from Wisconsin-Washington County Community College. And now one for nine shooting free throws. Meanwhile, checking in for Evangel, it is number 12, A.J. Green, the Parkview product. As Kaufman pulls down the rebound, another miss from the free throw line by Pender. Green will hurry it up. First action today, finds Brewington, a good skip pass down low. Kaufman winds up with it, fouled on the play, crashing down to the court. And go to the free throw line for a couple of shots, a nice feed by Egwu. Brewington got it down to Egwu on the baseline. A good look then at the cut by Kaufman. And Kaufman back to the free throw line here. First point good for Kaufman. 50 to 30, William Penn holding the advantage. One out of two for Kaufman from the free throw line. I believe is up to 15 points today. And the Statesman take back over. Darius Wheeler working around a screen by Bailey Decato into the paint. Corner three-pointer on the way, no good. Brewington pulls down the board. And three tried by Malik Thomas, his first action today. Cutting down low, A.J. Green into traffic, and he's fouled on the play. So Green, a little spark coming off the bench for Steve Jenkins. Just his second possession and attacking aggressively down to the paint. we will go to the free throw. Green, the sophomore, hits his first free throw. First points today for A.J., who we didn't see get any action last week, but in there today. And... Injecting a little bit of energy off the bench here to try to close out the half. 33 to play in the first half. As Green hits both free throws. Back down to an 18-point difference. State's been bring it up. Bailey Decato will hand it back to Wheeler. It's Wheeler, Pinder, Bailey Decato, Sanders, and Malik Thomas on the court for the Statesman. One-on-one -on -one try here, about a two-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Bailey Decato squares around, straight away three on the way, no good off the glass. Kaufman is fouled on the rebound try. And Malik Thomas, as well as Ahmad Pinder, battling Kaufman for that rebound. But Cade able to pull it out, and he'll go to the free throw line here with just four seconds left in the first half. It's an opportunity for Kaufman to hit those free throws. He's got 15 points today, four out of eight from the line. Had a chance for Evangel to chip it down to a 16-point difference. As the first free throw is perfect for Cade, his 16th point today. It would be big if uh, Crusaders can go down, go to the locker room only down by 16. It was 22 points a moment ago. Kaufman two for two this time at the free throw line, up to 17 points. And with 4.1 seconds to go here in the first half, We'll have some late subs. Brandon Williams comes in for Brewington. William Penn looking for a quick strike here right before the halftime buzzer. Inbounding is Pender trying to get it to Wheeler. Well defended by Evangel. It's to Thomas. Stolen away by Martin Burrow. A jumper from the baseline. No good. And a time will run out here in the first half. But the Crusaders with a little six-point response to close out the half. Cut it down to a 16-point difference. Through a half of play, 50 to 34 with William Penn ahead. Some halftime stats here. Uh, Crusaders were shooting 50%. They'd gone eight of their first 16, but since just three for 12 and have uh, cooled off a little bit from the field. And uh, we will continue to work on getting you some stats. Kate Kaufman leading all scorers, though, with 17 points on the Evangel side. 
And uh, while we work on those stats, let's take a uh, quick break. We'll do some stats on the other side of the break and get you set for the second half. So Crusaders hanging in there, 50-34. to 34, William Penn with the lead at the half. Assemblies of God Credit Union, we do things a little differently. Since 1951, we have been your home for banking, but we are so much more. Our faith is a driving force for all that we do. They give 10% of their earnings annually to humanitarian needs, to scholarships, to ministries. They treated us like we were family. I remember emailing our loan officer at like 10 o'clock at night and he responded within 15 minutes. Visit our website today to learn how membership changes the world. Domino's delivery drivers are experts at handling bad roads. But those roads shouldn't ruin your pizza when you carry out. So we're doing something about them, starting with this one. If your drive home is rough on pizza, tell us at pavingforpizza.com so we can fix roads across the country. Then carry out large three-topping pizzas for $7.99 each. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase, student athlete, has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org. When you want variety, you usually need to visit several places for bold flavors. Where they stuff your pretzel with three cheeses and roast beef. Where smoked cheddar meets crispy bacon. Where Italian meats and cheeses reign. Because when you want to try seven new sandwiches with a range of unique flavors, there's only one place to go. It's the only place you'll find sandwiches like the Caprice and the Tuscan. And that place, the Schlotz. is why Joe is awesome. Technology, only at Central Bank. a difference to impact your community and the world so don't just sit there do something about it take the next step at evangel university whether in the classroom or serving in the local community you'll grow in your calling while learning how to make a positive impact visit evangel.edu to see what opportunities are waiting for you at evangel we're more than a university we're a family apply now and start the journey to your calling today Barbecue is casual. It's friends, family. It's an event. Everybody at Rib Crib is living the barbecue life. Every Rib Crib has wood-burning smokers rolling 24-7. You'll want to get here before it's gone. Rib Crib. Keep it saucy. Can you tell me what it means to be safe? It means to protect yourself and know what to do. 
What's something you do to stay safe? I don't talk to strangers. I never, ever went out into the street, ever. I always buckle up. I know when to call 911 during an emergency. What about bicycle safety? I wear my helmet when I ride a bike. So if you fall off, you don't get like a concussion or something wrong with your brain. Tell me about CPR. What is CPR mean? And you push down on their chest like that to keep the blood going through their heart. Tell me about fire safety. If you hear that noise, that means fire. Come 911. You have to crawl because the smoke rises up. If there's a fire, we all know to go to the front yard. Get more safety tips at coxhealth.com. Be safe, everyone. Today, we're opening more than 150,000 locations called Domino's Hotspots. Like beaches, roadside attractions, and dog parks. And you can finally have Domino's delivered to every single one of them. No address, no problem. Find a Domino's hotspot near you. Excuse me. You get two medium, two topping pizzas delivered for $5.99 each. Get the pizza you love delivered to a Domino's hotspot near you or any of the other outdoor locations now open for Domino's delivery. What the NAIA has figured out through all their character and leadership programs is let's develop these players as men and women of character. And by doing so, these players will ultimately reach their ceiling. Since 1994, Convoy of Hope has been bringing help and hope to those who are impoverished and suffering throughout the world. In doing so, we've served more than 70 million people in more than 100 nations. We have the power in our hands to transform the lives of thousands and thousands of families across the United States and around the world. And when people move from hopelessness to hope, there is absolutely no limit to what can be accomplished in their lives. Our impact is on level with bigger organizations. Thanks to our strategic corporate partners and a dynamic worldwide network, we're able to feed nearly 150,000 children and their families in 10 nations and rush emergency food and supplies to some of the most far-flung places on Earth. We also hold community outreach events, train women to start businesses, and help farmers in developing nations increase their yields. Some have referred to us as one of the world's best kept secrets. That depends on your definition of a secret. Hey guys, it's Inday here. Hi, I'm Drew Brees. My brothers and I have worked with Convoy of Hope for a while now. I'm playing for Convoy of Hope. They're an amazing organization. They feed a child in need for $120 for an entire year, which is unbelievable. Convoy of Hope has done so much for, for these kids and for these families, these farmers. The International Relief Organization, Convoy of Hope, started rolling its trucks to prepare for a response. A Missouri-based charity called Convoy of Hope is here handing out coats, blankets, food, water, real help for real victims. And since Thursday at midnight, you have raised, brace yourselves, a quarter of a million dollars. Major corporations, celebrities, and influencers from both the private and public sectors have strategically aligned with Convoy of Hope because they believe, like we do, that no child, mother, or father should go hungry or have to suffer under the crushing weight of poverty. So much help from Convoy of Hope. Not Jamie. the first time we've seen them in action. Yeah. They sure. are there when you need them.
Uh, we're getting ready for second action, uh, second half action play here at the Ashcroft Center. Crusaders taking on the William Penn Statesman at 50 to 34. The score at the half with Evangel able to claw back under 20. A little 6-0 run by the Crusaders to wrap up that first half. And we do have some halftime stats for you uh, with the Crusaders shooting 37 percent from the field 11 out of 29 they went two out of 10 from downtown trying to shoot over that zone that William Penn employed and had so much success with defensively 10 out of 14 Crusaders shooting their free throws well today 71 percent from the line seven turnovers for Evangel 16 boards uh, they did get bested in the first half on the glass 24 rebounds by William Penn who shot really 50 percent or better throughout the entirety of that first half 19 of 38 at the half for William Penn from the field uh, just under 30 percent from downtown 5 of 17 and 7 of 10 from the free throw line for the Statesman. Kate Kaufman leading all scores a terrific first half for the freshman out of uh, Mountain Grove, 17 points for Kaufman, three rebounds for Cade, five of eight from the field, six out of 10 from the free throw line for Kaufman, really doing a good job attacking in the paint and drawing some fouls in that first half. Chris Stocks with six points on three of nine shooting, and Clark Brewington with three points, one out of three from downtown for the junior forward. On the William Penn side, Marlon Alcindor leading all scores on uh, the Statesman. 16 points, just one rebound, 5 of 8 from the field, 2 out of 5 from downtown. Abrian Edwards, 13 points, 2 assists, already a double-double for the 6-foot, 9-inch tall. Eddie Daly, 10 points and 12 rebounds for Daly through a half of play. Now the second half about ready to get going here at the Ashcroft Center. We appreciate everybody joining us here for the uh, second part of our uh, women's and men's doubleheader on this Saturday here in Springfield. Really a great start to the day with Evangel topping uh, William Penn in the women's game, 73 to 65. The Crusaders topping the Statesmen earlier today, just the second loss all year for William Penn on the women's side of the book. On the men's side, they're also very good. Really one of the top teams in the uh, NAIA D1, 15 and 3 record for the Statesman and come in ranked number two. But Evangel hanging with them so far and they're going to shave down that uh, deficit even further as they began to at the end of the first half. Underway here in half number two, Kaufman up to Stocks. Brewington with a cross court pass over to Martin. Moreau puts it on the court, drives to the paint, back out, left elbow for Egwu. One dribble back to Kaufman, Brewington straight away. Martin Burrow, left wing, drives into the paint again. Right-handed finish, no good, and a put back by Agbu, soaring through to the rim with a quick two-pointer by Ike Egwu on the offensive glass. Darius Wheeler spots up a three-pointer off the rim, however. Tawan Johnson down low with an offensive rebound and a put back of his own. Both sides trading offensive second chances early on here in half number two as Brewington works it over. Down to Kaufman on the right elbow. Martin Bro bounces back to Brewington. Martin Bro down to Kaufman. Good feed down to Stocks who's fouled right beneath the basket. And the Crusaders moving the ball well here to start off the second half. Getting Chris Stocks on a little back cut down the baseline. Stocks first free throws today. Six points early on for the Poplar Bluff native. The first free throw rattles around and through. Seven points for Stocks in this game. He's three shy of getting to that double-digit figure for his fifth straight game to start his eventual career. One out of two from the free throw line, however, as Daly pulled down the rebound. Avery and Edwards the best and tallying up assists in D1 this year. Feeds it to Alcindor is bumped by Kaufman on his drive to the hoop. It'll be a side out on the foul on the floor. Charge to Kaufman. Alcindor's been tough to deal with for Evangel. 16 points for the Queens native. That is his season average, 16.6 points per game. Edwards over to Johnson, got Martin Bro in the air. Johnson with a right-handed scoop try, no good. Rebound fought for, Kaufman tapping it over to himself. 
Will charge down the court. Edwards back, Kaufman. And it's a go. Cade Kaufman battling for the rebound on the defensive side, charging down the court, absorbing the contact, and getting the finish to go. 19 points for Cade. And he rattles in the free throw to complete the three-point play. 52 to 40, the Crusaders have shaved it down to just a 12-point difference. Johnson trying to break down Martinborough, leaves it instead for Edwards, a spinning right-handed try, no good. Kaufman with the rebound. Bounces up for Stocks. Stocks back the other way, cut off by Wheeler, trapped by Edwards. Corner three, Kaufman off the rim, and Brewington's going to be called and a foul with a little push into the back of Johnson. Cade Kaufman with 20 points already today. He's gone seven out of 11 from the free throw line as well. Here is Wheeler. Around a screen by Eddie Daly. Kaufman guarding the house center. It's back to Wheeler now. Wheeler over to Daly with a three from the left wing. Edgar pulls down the rebound. And the Crusaders take over possession here, down by 12. Stox has it, left side, pass up top to Brewington. Brewington picks up the dribble, Martinborough on the left wing, back to Clark, back to Martinborough. Martinborough kind of trapped in the corner, bounces back to Brewington, who puts it on the court, looks for Martinborough, cutting on the baseline, and he steps out of bounds. Now that tough zone employed by William Penn, that's been slowing down the Crusaders really all day. Almost were able to get Martin Burrow jolting down the baseline, but he just stepped on the paint. Edwards and the Statesman slowing it down here. 17 minutes to go in half number two. Al Cinder driving right, Kaufman moving the feet well. Floating fadeaway jumper, no good. Good defense by Cade. Avoiding a blocking foul, but not letting Alcinder turn that corner on him towards the baseline. Stocks up to Martin. Burrell swings it to Brewington on the left wing. Bounces down to Stocks on the left elbow. Into the paint, going against Daly, and he gets it to roll in off the glass. Stocks floating in the air, able to get it away from the outstretched attempt by Daly to block it. And it's a 10-point game. Edwards to Johnson, pump fake around Martin Bro down low. Egru cut him off, the try by Daly rattles in. Brewington slid over to help, but Daly able to get it to roll in anyway. Stocks now on the left side, working against two statesmen out to Martin Bro. Brewington holding it high. Back to Martin Bro, left side, floats it up to Kaufman, passes to Brewington, quick three pointer. Good. Second three of the day for Clark Brewington, and the Crusaders are within 10. It's a nine-point difference. Edwards almost lost it. Stock slid over. He'll go back. Agru defending Avery and Edwards. Edwards drives right, floats it up to Daly. Pump fake. Can't get it to go. Brewington snatches it down. And a big stop by Evangel as Martin Bro brings it into the paint. Passes back out to Kaufman. Brewington, good feet down for Egwu, reverse layup, goes in the foul! Mike Egwu flexing the muscles with a reverse right underneath the hoop, and he's fouled on the play. Six points for Ike today, three for three from the field. First free throw coming up for Egwu, and a chance to bring Evangel back within six points. No good on the free throw try. Daly right there for the rebound. That is his 14th rebound today. Edwards driving against Agru. Cut him off. Edwards changes direction so quick. And able to work around Ike Agru down low for a quick counter. Nine point game, 56 47. Quick three pointer. Kaufman nails it. 56 50. Kaufman's got 23. And William P. Calls for a timeout. 
second three of the day for Kaufman. And the Crusaders have come out of the halftime break on fire here. Outscoring William Penn 16 to 6 to start off the second half. They had Kaufman leading everybody with 23 points, the freshman out of Mountain Grove. 15.05 to go. Now the Evangel women with a big win over William Penn earlier today. The 17 and 1 statesman falling to 17 and 2 thanks to Megan Lusinger's Crusaders. And Steve Jenkins with a halftime message that has spurred on Evangel here coming out of the halftime break. They really went into the break with a good little run. It was 50 to 28 at the largest point in favor of William Penn. And since then, the Crusaders have gone on a 22 to 6 run. Six of those points coming to close out the first half. Getting the second half going and outscoring William Penn 16 to 6. It's a great stretch here for the Crusaders. Evangel standing with the same five out there. Brewington, Egwu, Kaufman, Martin Bro, and Stocks. Avery and Edwards brings it up for the Statesman. William Penn trying to dig in. Stop this Crusader rally. Edwards dribbles left, back into the paint to his right. Wild try, no good. Rebound fought for, it's out of bounds, and will be called as going off Brewington. He was battling Isaac Sanders down there. William Penn with 14 to shoot. Edwards floats it over to Sanders, up top left wing. Hands it off for Edwards, guarded by Egwu. Driving baseline, Edwards is out of bounds. Egwu moving those feet, forcing Edwards out of bounds, trying to turn that corner on the baseline. And the Crusaders with a chance to chip it down to a four-point difference. to 40 to play, Stocks has it, guarded by Johnson, a little bit of a press. As Stocks takes it quickly down to the paint, tried it up and under, but couldn't get it to go, hit the bottom of the rim. Instead, Johnson hurries back the other way, blocked by Andrew! has got it a jump ball call, but how about Ike Agwu with a thunderous block on that try by Johnson. It was Wheeler and Martinborough battling for the jump ball. And William Penn will maintain possession. Great job by Egwu, though, getting back in a hurry with a big block. 22 to shoot for the Statesman. They work it up to Wheeler. Bounce pass down low, knocked away. Cager couldn't handle it. Martinborough comes away with it. He's fouled by Cager at midcourt. to the fourth team foul called against William Penn here in the second half. And very quickly, John Henry in his 18th season at the helm of William Penn will get Marlon Alcindor right back out there. Now these statesmen have been so good. They started off 15 and one. They have dropped their last two though. And Evangel's giving them a run for their money, to say the least, today. 56-50, Evangel down by six. Plenty of time, 14 minutes to go. Kaufman has been outstanding today. He's guarded by Alcindor, bounces it over to Egwu. Kaufman hit the deck a little bit. It's to be okay, though. Stocks has it, works around a Brewington screen. Driving with the right hand, leaves his feet. His time winds out of the shot clock, but couldn't get it to go. And Alcindor with a pull-up three-pointer back the other way, off the rim. Egwu, a little bit of a push from Edwards. He gets the rebound, though. Three try by Wheeler, no good. Alcindor down low with the put-back try, no good. Gets it back again. And Marlon Alcindor battling on the block, able to get finally his third try to go. Eight-point difference here at the Ashcroft Center. Stocks working around the screen, left-handed try, no good. Tap goal by Igwu, and Ike 
over on the offensive glass with a foot pack. It's down to just six again. Edwards bounces out to Johnson. He drives left-handed into the paint. Lost the ball. Mark has got it. Crusaders charging to the front court. Kaufman with the finish. And it's good. 58-54. Game Kaufman from Martinboro. Johnson looked at the three, drives into the paint, right-handed try, and a blocking call will be on Kaufman. A couple of free throws coming to Port Tawan. Johnson. Gabe Kaufman up to 25 points today. Five rebounds, two assists as well. Eight out of 12 from the field. Stocks is up to nine points, having a good second half so far. Egwu, eight points, four rebounds. And again, just an infusion of energy whenever Ike Edwards on the court. First free throw is good for Tawan Johnson as A.J. Green checks in. He'll come in for Kaufman, who's got three fouls in this game. So Steve Jenkins will try to buy a couple of minutes with Kaufman on the bench here. Second free throw coming for Tawan Johnson. Good as well. Johnson's got 10 points today. 12.49 to go in this game. And the Crusaders battling the number two ranked William Penn statesman. Pavel Antonov will be back on the court coming in for Egwu. He gets a standing ovation from his teammates over there on the bench. So the five Crusaders are Edinburgh, Brewington, Antonov, Green, and Stocks. Brewington, left wing, thought about it. Pass down to Antonov, pivots against Sanders, back out to Stocks, open look. 60 to 57, Edwards driving quickly, left-handed finish and one. Avery and Edwards pushing that tempo right after the Stocks three and a chance to counter with a three-point play of his own. Edwards up to 17 points today, eight out of 12 shooting. Known for his assist numbers, 7.6 assists per game. He's only got two assists today, but he's been effective as a scorer instead. And the free throw rims out. Brewington with the rebound. AJ Green near side to Martin Bro. Just over 12 to go. Antonov. Over to Stocks, drives right, and they will call a foul on Isaac Sanders, who was battling for some turf down in the paint with Pavel Antonov. So it'll be another team foul. It's a, a baseline out for Evangel. Stocks tries to get it in, does so to Martin Burrow. Martin Burrow brings it back out. Green coming around the corner, whips it over to Brewington, left wing, down to Antonov, right block, backing into the paint, right-handed hook shot, no good. Green gets the rebound, out to Stocks, and the Crusaders have a new shot clock. A.J. Green flying up into the air for that rebound, now puts up a three, that's no good. Martin Bro tries to save it, but he's out of bounds on the baseline. William Pitt will take over. 11.44 to go as they bring back Eddie Daly, checking in for Isaac Sanders on the statesman side. Five-point game here at the Ashcroft Center. Here is Wheeler guarded by Chris Stocks. Edwards has it right wing. Green moving those feet, staying in front of him. Feed down to Kender, and it's blocked away, but a foul is called. Gonna go against, I believe, Antonov. Kender going to the free throw line. Not the worst person in the world to put there. He's gone just one for 10 this year, shooting free throws. He's 0 for 2 so far today. First one is good, so now two for 11, right on cue, he shuts me up. Two for 11 from the free throw line this year for Pender. 
And at this point, with Evangel clawing back into this game, as close as three points a moment ago. Every free throw counts for sure for William Penn, and Pender comes up big, two for two. He just tripled his made free throw total from the season. Stocks has it to Brewington, dribbling with the right hand, hands it off to Green, change of direction around the screen, jumper off the front rim, pulled down by Pender, he's fouled by Green. Ahead with 11.07 to play. It'll be a side out for William Penn. Pender tosses back to the backcourt to Wheeler. Stocks pressuring him right around midcourt. Wheeler works it to the left wing, bounces down to Edwards, backing in Green. Pass out to Daly, wide open three, and it's good. Eddie Daly with his first three today. He's up to 15 points, and Evangel will call a timeout as that lead is back out to 10 for the Statesman. And 10.52 to go. Crusaders hanging in there. They cut it down to a 60 to 57 difference just a couple moments ago. But as we saw in the first half, boy, a pen can be just so explosive. And this time it's Stanley with the three pointer. He's got 15 points and 14 rebounds for William Penn. Marlon Alcindor, 18 points, leading the statesman. Avery and Edwards has 17 points and three assists. But leading all scorers is the freshman, Cade Kaufman, 25 points, five rebounds. Eight out of 12 from the field, two out of three from downtown, and seven of 11 from the free throw line for Kaufman, who's had a great game. Stocks up to 12 points, double digits scoring for uh, Chris Stocks for his fifth straight game to start off his Evangel career, coming off the 21-point performance last week. And Ike Egwu has been a a uh, big energy boost here coming out of that halftime break. He's at eight points and four uh, rebounds. Ten-point game, Crusaders right there, 67-57. Evangel has the ball coming out of the timeout, 10.52 to play. And it's Brewington, Green, Stocks. Uh, Antonov hey! as Green drives into the right hand and finish. Right out of the timeout, A.J. Green with a quick two. Kate Kaufman checking back in, rounding up a five on the court for Evangel. Wheeler working against Stocks, brings it back out. Statesmen have Wheeler driving to the right side, little push off against Stocks, can't finish. Antonov, or rather, Brewington battling and is fouled, trying to control the rebound. Five statesmen out there, Pender, Wheeler, Alcindor, Edwards, and Daly. Eight point difference, 67-59, Evangel trailing. A.J. Green brings it up, switches to the left hand. Kaufman, baseline jumper, a little short. Green with a quick rebound, foul on a putback try. Well, A.J. Green has come off the bench here in the second half and been outstanding. Product out of Parkview, the sophomore guard, and he's going to the free throw line. Two shots for Green, he's got four points. Two for two from the free throw line so far today. First one is good for AJ. Talon Johnson will check back in for the statesman. Edrell Martinborough will come in for stocks. Chance for the Crusaders to knock this down to a six-point difference again. Green does just that, two for two from the free throw line. Evangel hanging in there with 10 minutes to go. Avery and Edwards, the 6'5 guard out of Austin, Texas, passes to Talon Johnson. Eddie Daly's got it up top, back to Edwards, turning the corner into the paint, in traffic, and he's fouled on the pass try. Look at Clark Brewington, who is in disbelief. That stops the clock with 9.50 to go here in half number two. 
time to take a timeout. It's 67 61. William Penn hanging on. Evangel right there, though. We'll be right back on evangelathletics.com. figured out through all their character and leadership programs is let's develop these players as men and women of character and by doing so these players will ultimately reach their ceiling. Inside the Ashcroft Center, it's going to be a fun final 950 to go here as the Crusaders are battling the number two ranked William Penn Statesman. Abraham Edwards shooting a one and one here. With 950 to play, a six point game. First one good for Edwards, he's got 18 points. Matching Al Cinder for the Lead on the William Penn side. Kaufman still ahead of all scorers with 25. And that timeout, Jacob Smith checking in for Evangel. He's out there with Martin Bro Green, who's been terrific in the second half off the bench. Kaufman and Egwu also checking back in. And five Crusaders. We're going to keep this rally going for Evangel. Kaufman works it to the near corner. Green's got it. Entry pass down to Smith. One dribble, picks it back up, trapped on the baseline. Shuttles out to Green, who packs it out. Eight to shoot. Egwu, far wing. Martin Bro, little pull up jumper. Good! Martin Bro with a quick bounce to the baseline and a pull up, too. His first points of the day. Martinborough trying to get it going here for the final stretch. Johnson feeds Edwards a quick left-handed finish. Avery Edwards with a little good give and go with Talon Johnson. Here's a three from Cade Kaufman. It's good. Cade Kaufman with a quick answer. He's got 28 points today. Edwards up top, drives left. Shuttles back out to Johnson, defeated by Martin Burrow through a screen. Daly to the right wing. Edwards trying to get it down low to Daly on the block, working against Egru. Collision with Smith going flying, looking for a charge, but Edwards knocked him down and hit the two. 73 66, 820 to play. Martin Burrow lost his dribble. It bounces, bounces over to Smith, however. The Crusaders. Getting into their offense. Kaufman faking the three, guarded by Al Cinder, up top to Martin Burrow. Green working against Johnson, entry feed down low. Egwu with an easy two. Edwards went flying on the play, absorbing a little contact, trying to draw the offensive foul to no avail. Mike Egwu with 10 points. Back to a five point game, 7.45 to go. Wheeler dribbling down to the paint, leads it down for Daly, but an offensive foul called on Wheeler. Edwin stepped in front, held his ground, and Wheeler on the pass off went colliding into him for the offensive charge. Evangel with a chance to come back within three points. Martin Burrow defended by Wheeler. Dribbles down towards the baseline on the left block. Bounces all the way back up top to Egg Group. Green's got it. Left wing for Martin Bro working against Wheeler. Kaufman straight away three, just off the side rim. And they'll get Smith on a foul battling for the rebound. 
Well, the Ashcroft center would have exploded if Kaufman could have hit that three. He's got 28 points today, five rebounds, two assists. And on that foul, Abrian Edwards will head to the free throw line. Eight team fouls apiece for both sides here, so we could have some free throws with every foul going on for the final 7-15 to play. One and one for Edwards, who's got 21 points, leading William Penn today. First free throw good for Edwards. He had 18 points and five assists. And the one-point defeat suffered by William Penn back on Wednesday at Culver Stockton. And an even better scoring total for Edwards today, up to 22 points. Chris Stocks checks back in here for the Crusaders. And for Jacob Smith. And Shamar Bailey Decatil will come in for Marlon Alcindor. Give him a little breather, and we'll see him back out there before too long. On the William Penn side. Just over seven to go. Stocks pushing it up court. Johnson sticking right with him. Over to Kaufman, guarded by Bailey Decatil. Corner for Green, finds Martin throw straight away. Dribbling past Bailey Decatil into the paint, picks it up, bounce for Egwu, controlled by Kaufman onto the right block. Green blocked away by Daly and out of bounds. A lot of contact down to the paint, no foul call though. Will be Evangel basketball with nine seconds left on the shot clock. Conversation between the officials and the Evangel bench. Hey. Stocks inbounding up top. Kaufman left wing. Finds Martin Grow behind the back, working against Johnson. Three to shoot. Egwu driving baseline. Reverse drive blocked away. Martin Bro has it. And they reset the shot clock. We'll see though. The officials blow the whistle though. Blow the play dead and now confer. Egwu was right up underneath the basket, and the question would be if the ball hit the bottom of the rim or not. And they're going to check the replay with 6.43 to go here in the second half to see if that uh, reverse try by Egwu that really was kind of partially blocked to see if it ever got up and hit the rim. If it did, if Angel would get a new shot clock and they wound up with the basketball. We'll keep possession. If not, well, then it'll go the William Penn way on a shot clock violation and we'll see if they can see in the replay whether or not Ike was able to get that ball to hit the rim. Well, another fun game on this Saturday here at the Ashcroft Center. Again, the women uh, for the Crusaders beat the uh, Statesmen earlier today. That final 73 to 65. Behind another double-double by three votes. Another 20-point scoring performance from McKenzie Farmer. And a big win for Lincoln Lusinger's Crusaders. In the first half of our twin bill today. Well, they're going to judge that that ball never hit the rim, and it'll be a shot clock violation, so... William Penn will get control. 6.43 to go, and the state's been ahead by seven. Sanders not thrilled with that final determination on that play. Chris Stocks guarding Darius Wheeler up top. Stocks almost hit with a joy. Loose and come away with it. Egwu helps him out. Johnson, corner three. Good. Big three-pointer by Talon Johnson to open it back up to a 10-point lead. He's got 13 points for the Statesman. Egwu left all alone. He'll pass on the long two-pointer. Get it over to Stocks instead. Coming off the screen by Egwu. Stocks working against a couple of Statesmen. Down low, Egwu with a bank try. Can't get it. Gets his own rebound. Passes back out to Green. Open look for three. And go! Great work by Egwu on that offensive blast. 
cleaning up his own miss. Battling for it down low, got possession, found Green at the top of the arc, and A.J. knocked it down. Green with nine points, and really a huge boost off the bench here in the second half for Steve Jenkins. Avangelo hung in there last week against Graceland, who opened it up and really looked like a wider deficit. Final last week, 88-67, but I didn't really tell the story. Graceland kind of opened it up in the second half lead to the back half of that game. But the Crusaders are battling once again today, and the stands right now are within striking distance against one of the best teams in Division I play. Well, we mentioned a little bit ago, but looking ahead to the next game, uh, come on out this Thursday night, January 24th, as Evangel takes on Baker. That's a 7.30 tip-off. And then a, another doubleheader uh, with the uh, women's side on January 26th. Martin coming to town. Noon start time for the women's game and 2 o'clock for the men's game. So plenty of basketball coming up this week here at the Ashcroft Center. Coming out of the timeout, William Penn has the ball. Tawan Johnson brings it up. Defended by Martin Burrow, forcing him to his right around a couple of screens. Johnson finds Wheeler up top, an open look for three, but an air ball. Johnson can't save it on the baseline. And the Crusader fans here at the Ashcroft Center let Tawan Johnson know, or rather Wheeler know, that he couldn't find a rim. Stocks working against Johnson here. Picks up the dribble. Gets it right back from Egwu. Right wing, Chris Stocks controls through the legs twice around the screen. Driving past Daly. Quick pass, Daly finished by Stocks. Five point game. Stocks up to 14. Edwards back the other way. Contact in the paint, they'll call a block. Edwards will go to the free throw line. Two free throws coming for Avery and Edwards. Stocks with that little scoop finish a moment ago, such a quick release on it, able to kind of work it around daily before the six foot nine inch forward could really have time to get off the court and try to block it away. First free throw coming up here for Avery and Edwards. He's gone four for five from the line today. 25 points to lead the Statesman in scoring. First one rattles home for his 26 point. Daly's got three blocks today. Egwu's got two blocks on the Evangel side. How about four steals for Adriel Martinborough? Second shot for Edwards, good as well. He's two for two in that instance and opens it back up to a seven point lead for the Statesman. Stocks, calls out of play, guarded by Q Gager. Over to Green, finds Martin Bro on the near side, back to Green up top. Kaufman at the elbow, Martin Bro thought about the three, pulls it back out, Stocks has it, right side, and he's fouled on the floor. Driving towards the baseline, Shamar Bailey Decato trying to stay in front of him and got him with his chest. One and one here for Chris Stocks. One for two from the line today for Stocks. He's up to 14 points. 6 2 guard out of Poplar Bluff. And the first one's perfect. Second free throw for Stocks as well. Back down to just five. 80 to 75. Crusaders battling against these statesmen. Hugh Kager driving to the right. Little counts. Pass to Johnson. Plays it to Edwards. Who dribbles it off his foot out of Trying to drive it baseline, a little bit too out of control though, and he knocked it off his foot. 
Under four and a half to go with Evangel. Only down by five. Stocks letting it roll. We'll pick it up as he crosses over the timeline. Green guarded by Edwards. Arnbro far side, back to Green. Around a screen. Stocks pump fake at the three. Pulls it back out. Now doubled. Bounces to Kaufman in the corner. Kaufman up top. Green's got it, 10 to shoot. Pass deflected over to Kaufman near side. Back to Green, long three-pointer off the back of the rim. Stocks though lines up with the ball. An offensive rebound as he drives it down to Egwu. Egwu under the basket and is fouled down low. Two shots coming for Ike Egwu. A big offensive rebound by Chris Stocks. Who then drove it right back to the elbow and was able to skip it down low to Egwu where he was then fouled by a couple of states. A couple of statesmen still trying to figure out who the foul was on. Bailey Decatel or Johnson both down there. Judging by the look of shock on Shamar Bailey Decatel's face, I think they called it on him. Spirals in his first free throw, and it's a four point game. Ike up to 11 points, five rebounds today. Two for Andrew. Evangel back within three. This is as close as they have been. 80 to 77. Cager over to Daly. Puts up the three-pointer and trades it. Eddie Daly thought about it, hesitated, and knocked down a line drive three. 83-77. That just looked awfully easy. Martin Bro, top of the key, turnaround jumper, Kaufman a little long with it. Rebound by Johnson. Johnson quickly driving to the paint, right-handed finish, no good. Daly right there, his put back, no good. Kaufman snatches it down. And Evangel controls with 3-10 to go. Kaufman straight away, pass to the left wing. Martin Bro bounces to Stocks, down low. to 14 points and another opportunity for a three-point play. with the offensive rebound. 27 points for Edwards. He got the call on that one, even though he kind of leaned in with that elbow. Edwards set up on the line, 240 to play here. Free throw good. So three-point play for Edwards. Just 10 out of 14 from the field. Seven of eight from the free throw line as Stocks brings it up. Evangel down by six, two and a half to play. Stocks looking for a little help. It's Kaufman at the key. Pass out to Green. Three-point look, no good. Kaufman battling for the board, trying to spike it off Daly. Gets it to Andrew. Stocks with a straightaway three. One 
59 to go in this game, 86 to 82. With the statesman trying to figure out a way to hang on and get out of Springfield with a win, but Evangel not making it easy. And A.J. Green's been a big part of that. He's up to 11 points. Perhaps no two bigger than that. Dunk put back just a moment ago. Off the three try by Stocks that rimmed out. Kaufman, meanwhile, up to 28 points, six rebounds. Avery and Edwards leading all scores, 30 points. 18 apiece on the stage bench side for Al Cinder and Daly, who's got 15 rebounds. Stock 16 points, Egglu 15 and 6. 159 to play. William Penn ahead by four. Edwards working against Green, little pass to the baseline for two and the foul. And Q Cager is writhing in pain after making that basket down low. Like he may have hurt his ankle on that play. And is going to limp back to the locker room. So somebody else will have to come in and shoot the free throw. It's 88 to 82. And the officials are trying to avoid this turning into a kind of an inadvertent timeout. Looks like Darius Wheeler is going to come in. And hopefully Cager is okay. That going to look great as he landed, twisting that ankle and kind of rolling around on the court before he was able to get up and hop back into the ah. locker room. So Daly will shoot the free throw with 1.53 to play. One free throw coming to try to complete the three-point try. Free throw today for Daly. He's got 18 points in this game. And he hits the free throw. So a three point play. The two for Cager and the free throw completed by Daly. Back to a seven point lead with a minute 53 to go. Kaufman up top to Martin Bro. Stocks on the left side. Working against this William Penn zone. Martin Bro over to Green. Back up top to Martin Bro, leads it for Stocks. Green on the far side, entry pass, Stocks, top of the key, jumper. Floating jumper at the left elbow by Stocks, the feed from Green, and it's a five-point game. Stocks up to 18 today. Johnson dribbles into the paint, three from Wheeler, no good. Pulled in by Kaufman. Stocks pushes up to Green. Corner three. Off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Martinboro, though, on the offensive board with a minute left to play. It's a five-point game here at Evangel. 52 seconds left. Martinboro's got it right wing. Back over to Green. Stocks with a bit of a look, but he'll hang on to it. Pull it back out. 12 to shoot for the Crusaders. Green trying to get it back to Stocks. Kaufman, turnaround jumper. Kate Kaufman with another turnaround two from the left elbow. He's got 30 points. And a full timeout called by William Penn with the Crusaders within three points of tying this game. 38.6 seconds left here at the Ashcroft Center with Angel challenging the number two team. And William Penn. Statesman 10 and 1 at home, just 5 and 2 on the road. Evangel looking for their first win here at home this year. They have won two of their last four, though. Played some good basketball since the calendar of 2019. And boy, what a win this would be if the Crusaders can find a way to pull this out. Have not led in this game. William Penn got out to that quick start. 
at one point opened up a lead as big as 22 points. It was 50 to 28 late in the first half. But Evangel went on that run. Got that deficit down to just 16 points at the half. And the Crusaders here in the second half have outscored William Penn 50 to 39. So coming out of the timeout here, Evangel needing a stop with 38 seconds left. Or they will likely foul to turn this into a free throw shooting game, but we'll see. There's an 8.6 second difference on the shot clock, so they might just try to press, force a turnover, and we're down by three. Inbounded to Johnson. He's to be pressured by Martin Burrow. Martin Burrow and Stocks up top. Now Green takes his spot guarding Edwards. 25 to play, 15 to shoot. Edwards and Green battling one on one right in front of the scorer's table. Edwards working it down to the right wing. Driving baseline, pass back up top and almost out of bounds, but saved by Alcindor. The shot will not count. It's a shot clock violation. William Penn taking a little too long to get going in that set. And with 7.9 seconds to play, Evangel has an opportunity to tie this game. Only down by 389-86. It'll be a side out right in front of the William Penn bench. Green will inbound. Had a timeout call for, so a quick pause here as the Crusaders want to talk things over. Kind of the final possession, perhaps, of this game. 8.6 seconds to play, and Evangel needing three points to tie things up. The five out there for Evangel that have really sparked this rally in the second half. Kate Kaufman's been terrific. Chris Stocks, Ike Egwu, up to 15 points and six rebounds. AJ Green, 11 points, three rebounds and four assists. And Israel Martinborough, who's got four steals to go along with two points, three assists, and four rebounds. The Hall of Fame coach Steve Jenkins draws up a play to try to figure out a way to get three more points and tie this game. Coming down to the wire against the Statesman. William Penn at 89 points, just shy of their season average, 93.7 points per game. That's how good this offense is. Avangel, meanwhile, has 86 points. Their season average is 70. Good offensive game for the Crusaders today. Particularly in the second half where they have 52 points. All right, here we go with 8.6 seconds left. It'll be Martin Brode inbound. They've got Big Eddie Daly standing right in front of him to try to block his view as much as possible. Stocks, Kaufman, Green, and Egwu out there with Martin Bro. Stocks fouled on the play by Johnson. And with six and a half seconds left, Stocks will head to the free throw line. Really not the worst foul in the world by William Penn. Instead of allowing Evangel a chance to tie it with a three-pointer, they'll force him to take some free throws instead with six and a half seconds left. Stocks, 18 points today. Three out of four from the free throw line. He's a terrific free throw shooter. 25 out of 27 on the season. Can't hit the first one, though. Pender and Sanders check back in for William Penn. Trying to crash down and get any possible rebound here with six and a half seconds to play. Free throw from Stocks is good on the second one, so it's a two-point game, a timeout called for. 
William Penn wanting to talk things over this time with a, a full timeout. And the state's been hanging on by two points. 89-87. Likely drawing up an inbound play to try to get the ball in before Evangel surely will attempt to foul as quickly as possible. And send the state spin to the free throw line. That miss by Stocks, but that does open up the opportunity is for William Penn to essentially ice it if win their foul, then they can hit both of their free throws, then it's a four-point game with probably about five seconds to play. So the Crusaders will be fouling right away and hoping that William Penn can't connect on both free throws. It's been a fun one either way, depending, regardless of how the next six and a half seconds go. What a day for Evangel winning the women's game. The Crusaders topping the previously 17 and one statesman by the final of 73-65 earlier today. And now on the men's side with the Crusaders taking the statesman, the number two ranked statesman all the way down to the wire here. 2019 turning around for Evangel after a tough start to this season, but this team is growing with every game and battling. Trying to find a way to pick up what would be just a monumental victory here today. It's Al centered to inbound. They've got Egwu camped out in front of them. Evangel will try to foul right away. They get it into Edwards. His pass picked up by Martin Bro and Evangel calls timeout. Israel Martin Bro playing defensive back, picking off that pass. Abraham Edwards tried to get it down to Johnson, and Martin Bro soared through the air for the turnover. Then had the wherewithal to call timeout right away. Two and a half seconds remain. They're going to make sure that's the right time. As the officials come over to check the video and see exactly how much should be on the clock right when Martin Bro called for time. Oh, what a play by Israel Martinboro. Getting the ball back for Evangel. They avoid having to put William Penn on the line. And now a chance to tie it with a two-pointer and potentially take the lead with a three-pointer here with two and a half seconds to go. Kane Kaufman. 30 points, seven boards. Chris Stocks, 19 points. Had a figure if you're gonna drop a play to try to hit a three-pointer, either one of those two are gonna be primarily involved. Ike Egru has been terrific down low, six out of eight from the field, 15 points, six rebounds. And AJ Green has been a spark plug off the bench here in the second half, 11 points. Those four assists and three boards. They're going to keep both sides over by their benches as they confirm the exact time. And it looks like two and a half seconds checks out. Well, Kaufman will inbound here. Green and Stocks in the backcourt to try to get it in. Two and a half seconds to play a two-point game. of Angel with a chance to tie or take the win. Kaufman looking for some help. Flips it all the way down. Green leaves the air. It's a battle for the ball. And they're going to call a jump ball on it as Green and Johnson get wrapped up. There will be 1.2 seconds left. And Evangel will hang on thanks to the possession arrow. So lucking out that the arrow is pointing in their direction. 1.2 seconds left. It's going to be pretty much a catch and shoot kind of situation here. Stocks inbounding from the baseline. Bounces in. Mark Burrow can't grab it. And Statesman will hang on for the victory. 89 to 87. But what a battle by the Crusaders taking this number two ranked team down to the wire. An inbound pass just off the fingertips of the cutting Edriel Martinborough, if he could have reeled it in, would have had a chance to float it up from the block.
Instead, William Penn hangs on, and they're going to fire that bus up and get out of the Ashcroft Center as quickly as they can. Taken to the wire by the Evangel Crusaders today, but the final does go in the Statesman way, 89-87 to 87 on the final scoreboard. Well, a final look at some stats here before we say goodbye for the afternoon. Crusaders end up shooting 45.5% on the day. They were outstanding in the second half, outscoring William Penn 53 to 39. 7 out of 23 from downtown for 30 points from three. 27 free throws taken by Evangel. Did a good job of getting to the line and did a good job capitalizing, hitting 20 of them, shooting 74% from the free throw line today. Only nine turnovers for the Crusaders. Six of those came in the first half. They really took care of the ball in the second half and also out-rebounded uh, William Penn in the second half. Uh, ended up being out-rebounded by only five, but that was a category that uh, the Statesmen really controlled in the first half. Ended up being 41-36. to 36. William Penn uh, with the rebounding advantage narrowly uh, on the final count. 17 assists for Evangel on their 30 field goals. Really moved the ball well as well in half number two. On the individual side, Kate Kaufman, a terrific game today. 30 points for the freshman, seven rebounds for Kaufman. 10 out of 17 shooting three three-pointers today for Kate as well to lead all Crusaders and tie for the lead in the game. Chris Stocks, 19 points, seven out of 17 shooting and uh, four out of six from the free throw line. Ike Egwu and A.J. Green, two uh, real catalysts in that second half. Egg wounded up 15 points, six rebounds on six of eight shooting. Green with 11 points, four assists, three rebounds, three of nine shooting. And Ed Real Martinboro, uh, you might look at the main categories in the box score, look at it like a quiet night for a quiet afternoon for Martinboro. Two points, four rebounds, three assists, but he had four big steals as well and was a, a big uh, defensive presence in the second half for the Crusaders. On the Statesman side, Abraham Edwards, 30 points, three rebounds, three assists, 19 points, 15 rebounds for Eddie Daly. And Marlon Alcinder, who uh, I believe at 16 points at the half, ends up with 18 points, three rebounds on six of 12 shooting to lead the way for the Statesman uh, as well as he wraps up the day. And William Penn is able to hang on by two on that final scoreboard, 89 to 87, the final score as the Statesmen uh, will improve to 16-3 and three on the year. They snap a two-game skid, and Evangel will dip down to 3-14. and 14, But a heck of an uh, afternoon by the Crusaders. A great try here in the men's game with Evangel taking William Penn, the number two-ranked team, down to the wire, down to the buzzer. Uh, but William Penn able to hang on for the win. Earlier today, though, the women's uh, team did beat uh, the Statesman 73-65. So uh, the uh, Evangel side coming out victorious in that with a big win for Megan Luzinger's Crusaders earlier today. Well, that's going to wrap things up for us here from the Ashcroft Center. want to say a big thank you to Joe Mason producing the uh, broadcasts for us this afternoon. Of course, as always, a big thank you to Philip Dowden and his staff here in the Athletics Department, the Sports Information Department uh, here at Evangel uh, for all of their help. Thanks so much for tuning in. We've got a, a big week coming up, a full week of basketball as Baker comes to town on January 24th with the 7.30 start time on the men's side, 5.30 on the women's side. And then on Saturday the 26th, it is Clark in town, uh, noon start on the women's side and a 2 o'clock start on uh, the men's side. So home games coming up for the Crusaders Thursday the 24th and Saturday the 26th. And, of course, it'll all be uh, uh, broadcast for you right here at euathletics.com as well. So thanks again for tuning in. I'm Andrew Buckbinder saying have a great rest of your Saturday. This has been Heart of America Conference Basketball on evangelathletics.com.